Guys, I want to show you really quick. Uh, so this tub did not come with a, with a heater. I had to buy it separately. And it's actually really easy. You hook it up right there. You just twist, you twist off both sides. And then this guy gets replaced. And this is your heater. This is for about 100 bucks. I think in Home Depot, I paid about close to a thousand for the tub and an extra hundred bucks for the uh, heater. Um, the heater plugs in to a separate 15 amp uh, GFI. I think that's how you say it, GFCI. I'm not an electrician, so I can't. Anyway, so uh, you wanna make sure you hook up the heater uh, copper cable uh, to the uh, the motor, right? And then uh, it's, it's kind of cool because these things are air air push buttons. I thought they were electrical, like arcade buttons. They look just like arcade buttons, but they're electrical, but they're non-electrical. And uh, I, I made another hole using a diamond cut one and a quarter inch uh, circular drill. And then um, I'm making basically a push button for the heater. So in case you guys are wondering uh, how to do this, these things are only like 20 bucks, not too expensive, but you can see my plumber's putty there. You don't really need it because there's a rubber guard, but I did it anyway, just to secure it. And then uh, it's right next to the power to the jets. Highly recommend anybody that wants to install one of these bad boys. I didn't see too many people have these. I only found like one or two, uh, but you can see the work I've done. I've never framed anything before, but I separated these about 16 inches per code. And then, um, I still have to do the rest of the tile work, but you can see where I ran my electrical. It should probably be a separate um, circuit breaker, but so far it hasn't popped, so um, knock on wood, it's working great.